It's Crazy La and today I'm back with another episode and today's video is gonna be focusing on mixed Japanese people's issue and yeah I'm not mixed Japanese person so I'm not in the right place to address that issue that is why today we're gonna to be having a guest so say hello to Pele Von Kujovi Hi, konnichiwa <laughs> Hello guys, this is Pele Von Kujovi and uh, he is Japanese and Ghanaian but he's going to introduce himself properly Hi guys Hello. I'm Pele, Pele Bokujovi. I'm from Ghana and Japan. My dad's Ghanaian, my mom's Japanese. Grew up in Ghana. I'm friends with Ila. So I have a bunch of questions for you today and I hope I'm gonna not fall in cliches because maybe it's a sensitive mm -hmm. topic for uh, some people in this society. Mm -hmm. So the first question, because I'm really serious and I've been writing my questions. Is it okay to call you a mixed Japanese person? Yeah, mixed. Japanese Ghanaian. I, I usually don't even say mixed, not because I have anything against it or for it, but just I tend to use half. So actually. it's okay to call you half or as they say? I, I think it's okay. Um, at least I'm okay with it. I know there are people who are not okay with it, but then I think if you have to think about a whole, you know, if you're half <laughs> something, you're half this, you know, you're half. <laughs> You know, and you can. I know people say double. I, I get it. I think that's cool as well, but I'm okay with it too. Okay. Do you feel much more Japanese or Ghanaian? Well, I definitely culturally feel a lot more Ghanaian okay. because I grew up there. I was born in Japan, I'm not far from here. I think I was born around like Sakura Shimachi. Oh. I moved to Ghana when I was nine months old with my family. I grew up there for 16 years. Yeah, so I basically came to Japan almost every summer or something to visit my Japanese family. <laughs> cousins and grandparents and stuff. But I also still did have a lot of Japanese influence in my life. Mm. I spoke Japanese almost every day in the house with my mom. There's a, there's a couple of Japanese people in Ghana and I always had like access to like people within the community. I also went to Japanese school. Like it's not like I was in Ghana and Japan wasn't a part of my life, right? It definitely was. Okay. But I feel just by virtue of living and growing up all the time in Ghana, I feel a little bit more Ghanaian than Japanese. If Ghana is playing against Japan in football, you will be supporting Ghana. Yeah. No way! Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, of course. But if it's like Japan versus someone else, I'm Japan. Okay. But if it's Japan versus it. Ghana, it. it's Ghana. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. But even if Japan won, it will be like okay. You won't be like oh. No. You feel proud. Yeah, you'll be like okay. Yeah, but you know the first time we're going to is Ghana. The other question is, what are the um, since you're in Japan, what are the main struggles that you've been facing as someone who is I don't know if this is correct, not full Japanese. Have you been facing some struggles that you want to share with us and with people watching? I don't face much struggles, I think. Not really, at least I don't think so. The only struggle is that like my work is all in Japanese, right? So but you speak Japanese. I speak Japanese, yes, but you know, there's levels to it. Because like, you've been speaking Japanese with your mother yes. since you were young. So I can communicate, okay. I can do everything, but then there's like all these business terminologies and all this vocabulary mm -hmm. that like I don't know, because mm -hmm. my Japanese is still like limited in many ways. So mm -hmm. Also reading is hard. Mm -hmm. The emails are more translating every word. <laughs> so that's hard sometimes. But yeah, I know a lot of people face a lot of half kids who grew up here or, or even who didn't come here have like different difficult experiences. I personally have not had much of struggles in Japan, you know, like at this age not much. But even as a kid, I, I knew I was like different. I was like me and Senna were the only black kids in our whole school, obviously, but it's cool. Like we, we had some nice experiences too, for example, like our... I'll tell you a story. It's funny. Okay. At least I think it's funny. <laughs> so basically, right, when I was I was about five or six, mm. I lived in Japan for about six months. Right? Okay. I think my mom was sick and so we were like like we we're in Japan for some time while she was here. And then in my school, like we're the only Japanese kids, but like I mean non-Japanese kids, like we're different. Like even our school bag was different, right? Because the rest of the world, everyone just wears a normal bag. Like What's Japan, a normal bag? A normal backpack. Like, yeah, whatever you can think of the first, a normal bag. And that was yours? No, mine was normal. Okay. Right? But in Japan, it's not normal because in Japan, in school, kids wear this thing called rando seru. Mm -hmm. And rando seru is a very specific bag design. But one day, you know, Japanese schools, they give you food, right? They give you lunch and you gotta eat it. You have to eat it all. Mm. One day, they gave us this stew that was just 
clearly different from anything that we had been given like across the six months there. It's like it's like this is different. Uh-huh. <laughs> and like I was eating it right, and then all the kids around me were like, "Damn, this is like disgusting. It doesn't taste good. What is this maze maze?" Ah. And then I'm like, "Oh yeah," and I'm eating it, but I'm like, "Damn, this is good." <laughs> I was like, this is so good. It tastes like, and I was like, it tastes like Ghanaian food. No way. Yeah, because it was a granite soup. It was basically okay. granite soup. Okay. And it tastes like Ghanaian food, but everyone's saying this tastes like shit. So I'm like, yeah, this is so bad. <laughs> ah. Basically, even I remember the teacher asked me, how is it? But because everyone was like freaking out about it, not freaking out, but I was like, yeah. So I was like, that's nah, not good. <laughs> but then later I find out that the school had done that for us, mm. like the headmaster or whoever. Like I'd organize the cafeteria people to be like, okay, let's we have these kids from Ghana, oh, let's nice. make some Ghanaian food for them. So they be, like, and I came to find this out like some time later. Mm. At least I became conscious of this. So a while after that, like mm. our school had like you know thought about us and made Ghanaian food in oh, the that's Japanese cute. school. And I didn't know that, so my my, my <coughs> class was saying, oh, this is disgusting. But it was just for me. And you but enjoyed it. Was so it, good. So. It was so good. I went to a sports day the other day. It's called Undokai. Mundoka is a Japanese sports day. Okay. It's like my cousin's kid is about two. And so it was his sports day and there's all these children doing okay. stuff. So the guy's like, oh yeah, come through. So I went through and it was fun. Mm-hmm. And it was great. Yeah, I went with one of my friends who was also half Ghanaian and half Japanese. Oh. And then like, we're just obviously the only black people there. But everyone's like wondering who the fuck are they as well, you know? Who are these guys? And so my cousin goes around like introducing us to a couple of people that he thinks matter. Like this, the school's teacher or like... So there was just this one kid mm. who was just like, like, that in Japanese, like, who are you? Like, that eh, that eh. I don't know, kind of like a little bit aggressive, but it's like, <laughs> right, it's funny mm. to think of like an eight-year-old kid mm. with aggression. But it's like, that eh, that eh. And I mean, I was, well, I was trying to be like, who are you? <laughs> but I guess it was less about what he's asking, but how he was asking. He was being a bit cocky with it. Mm. I was like, Charlie, bro, don't bring that around here. What are the common cliches about mixed Japanese people? Black Japanese people. I think it's interesting because like if you're black, do you think you're good at sports, right? And so if you're like running, you have to win. <laughs> 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 like I was considering like participating in like the relay. Some guy asked me, are you fast? And I was like, I'm okay. Like I'm okay. And he's like, okay, yeah, then you can do, you know. But if you're like too, if you're fast, too fast, then it will be fun <laughs> or something, you know. Or maybe it will be fun. Okay. Last time I went to this half event, right, in Shibuya. And there's a couple of these. But then it was by the African Kids Club. And it's called Tokyo Africa Youth Meetup. Okay. AYM. Like this girl was saying how she did not experience, she's Nigerian-Japanese, but she did not experience much like discrimination mm. because she was good at sports all the time. Okay. You know, and she's an athlete, okay. so she's really good. At it. And she said just by virtue of that, she was always like you know praised for being good mm. and like she's smart and everything as well. So like sports was like something that protected her in okay. a sense from some of the issues that other kids who maybe are not as sporty don't get the, the benefit of. Mm. So I think that's like a stereotype. One of them. Okay. Since we're talking about sport and uh, there have been that huge polemics and all the hype about Naomi Osaka being Japanese now as she has chosen the Japanese nationality yes. and we know that somehow in the mixed Japanese people, uh, let's say society or this part of the community, Naomi Osaka is also uh, taken as um, um, someone to refer to somehow, I guess. The way the Japanese society is looking at a mixed Japanese people as we say hafu changed since Naomi Osaka came out. Like she, she has influenced positively the way uh, Japanese people look at uh, mixed Japanese, mm. black Japanese especially. She definitely has a lot of positive impact in how people look at her, as you mean, like she's taking the world stage. Similarly also with the girl who won the, what do you call it, the Miss Universe Japan yeah, girl, yeah. she a couple of years ago yeah. as well. And then I think Hachimura also, mm. also Sunny Brown. Somewhere in his yeah, yeah, it's all around. It's like mm. the five G soft bank thing. It's like him doing this. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's great. They're definitely like pushing the flag to making half us more accepted. Mm. True. Yeah, I think that's a really positive thing they're doing. Yeah, but don't you think it's because of that they associate black Japanese people with sport and these kind of things? The expectation is there. Mm. And if you if you don't meet that expectation, they might be like, oh, 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 I guess. But that's good. If a lot of people are not meeting the expectation, then you know they're like, yeah, it's not everybody that's good at it. 
I've seen that you've not faced that much challenges, as you say, as a half person in Japan. It's not. It's changes. not. It's not what's at the front of my mind. Mm. A lot of times, that's like, good. Mm -hmm. I'm very much aware of it. Mm -hmm. I know I look different. Mm -hmm. I know I am different in many ways. There's a lot of like young people out there who might feel like kind of alone. And now, like yeah, we're like the media is getting out there more, and people know more about half. So the situation is definitely getting better. But I want to have like create like more of a community where like the youngins can feel more open, like reaching out to the older kids for mm -hmm. advice. Because yeah, you can feel alone if you're still the only black kid in your school. As much as there's now music on the TV and mm -hmm. all these things that we we're starting to people are starting to know. But um, it's always nice if you have like a person you can connect to. That's true. And I think it would be nice to create like support systems for like the younger ones and the older ones can share the experience, mm -hmm. how they dealt with certain things mm -hmm. in their time, and give advice, you know, give career advice as well. Yeah, things like that. So I want to be more engaged with that. Also, like my last question that I had in mind, since you said something very important that. Uh, you mix Japanese and uh, black, but it's not something. The discrimination you may face as that spe a specific person is not something you put in the front line in your daily life. It sounds to me like a resilience method is a very good method to resist to what can hurt you in uh, the Japanese society. So, uh, referring to that, what can you tell other mixed Japanese black people uh, following us out there, or uh, as a, a way for them to be? Stop! I don't have it. I was serious. No, 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 no. You killed it. <laughs> get out. Hey, get out. <laughs> it was just a cheeky smile. <laughs> okay. Carry no, on, carry on. To me, you sound like a person who is really resilient to this kind of uh, discrimination. Uh, you don't. It's not like you don't face it, but I feel like you over it. Mm. That's a feeling that I have, and that's that's powerful for people who are struggling with that. So, uh, which kind of message or like, what would you like to tell to other uh, young Japanese black? Connect with your African roots. A lot of times, half of kids, you'd find that their father is African, their mother is Japanese. That's like the most oh. predominant, that's the predominant okay. combination, okay. African father, Japanese mother. Some might grow up without having much contact with Africa. Mm. To try to connect to that side, is, it can be a strong position of pride, you know? Mm to connect again and learn about it can be a source of pride that can help you okay. build your yourself if you're not very exposed and try to find ways to expose yourself to it mm -hmm. it can be through reading or attend social events or just connect to somehow somehow so i think it's, yeah. we're pretty much done with this video that was a very good job and uh, thank you Pede, for having me thank you for your time and yeah. and i know it's very personal but you 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 were willing to to give me your time uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah. so thank you for that thank you that was very fun thanks yeah, for that having was very me on fun. the show on, on, the, the, show. on the crazy ila crazy ila <laughs> subscribe and jaspora guys Oh, yeah. Jaspora events happen almost every month. We've done it so far every month. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of young Africans and people who are interested in Africa, Hafu, African, Japanese, wherever you're from, welcome. Um, pretty fun. We just come and discuss different little things about Africa. You know, comes all the time. Yeah, and it's so much and, fun. And it's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of friends. Yeah. And so, yeah, Jaspora. Maybe you can find the link below if if yeah, Ila's, I'll definitely if Ila's feeling link kind. Below. Oh come on, I'm I'm a kind person. She is. She <laughs> Actually. Is. <laughs> Sweet. So you guys thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe for more video and uh, if you like the content give us a thumbs up. You have to yeah. yeah. <laughs> give us a thumbs up. You're so wicked. <laughs> yeah, if you like the content. <laughs> so if you like the content, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more video. Comment, 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 and share with people around you. So much love, peace, y'all. What you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go and be the judge. <laughs> Dude, and I can't see. I don't have glasses. If we do the presentation, I can't see it. I'll take my laptop so maybe they'll send me the PDF because I can't see. It. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is behind the scene. I don't know what he's doing, but you can't see anything. Okay, he's getting ready to be a judge. A pineapple. For to be a pi Stop that! I made a whole video about this kind of thing. <laughs> I do feel like a pineapple when I do all of this.